are done with the installation of a 19 kilowatt power solar energy system in the city of Lafayette and Astral State in this KMK hotel. On the roof, we have our 32 unit of 590 watt solar panels. That is four stringes, string one, two, three, and four. And each stringe is eight unit connected in series, generating about 300 and something volt or about 400 and something volt. So I'll take you guys inside to where our inverter is and give you intense review of what we did here. It has been a while that I've given you a review like this. So let's do this again. Now, let me take you to where the inverter is. Welcome to the powerhouse. You can see here we did a massive installation of 60 kilowatt hour lithium battery from uh, LV Thompson. These four batteries are connected in parallel, working as a single power bank. 15, 15, 15 gives us about 60 kilowatt hour battery bank system to power this hotel for about 24 hours, depending on the amount of load that will be on this very system. This battery comes with, you know, five years warranty with about 10 uh, to 12 years lifespan. We have these big boys from SeaWorld, and according to SeaWorld, that they have worked on uh, the factory error that they are 12 kilowatt inverter do comes with. So this is a 12 kilowatt hybrid inverter from see what a 48 volt that can handle up to 12,000 watt power from the solar panels so it has double mppt mppt one handles up to 6,000 watt and mppt two handle the same amount of uh you know power from the solar panels and uh the output also is 12 kilowatt presently the load we are running on this guy uh is about um the load on this guy is about okay 24 percent which is just 2.8 kilowatt uh from the amount of energy that is being consumed on this very guy each of this is working independently but they are depending on the same battery bank so if you see here we have a dc bus bar from srne that is connecting these four batteries together to work in parallel while the two inverters are not in parallel these inverters are working uh independently separately if we off this one uh some part of the hotel we have electricity while the other part will not have electricity and if we off this the same thing will happen so this guy is powering mainly the clubhouse the kitchen and the bar so this guy will carry more load than this other guy but we'll try as much as possible to balance the load between 80 to 90 percent so we have 90 percent load on this guy and we have about 70 to 80 percent load on this very guy so uh, uh like i told you guys on the roof we have about uh, 32 units of 590 watt solar panels and each string is supposed to give us about 4.7 kilowatt at peak sun. Now let's see the amount of energy coming from the solar panel. Before we check that, now you can look outside, see the weather. The weather is very dull, uh, sun is not up, but let's see how much we are generating from the solar panels. So our MPPT1 is giving us 1.7 kilowatts and uh, MPP2 is giving us the same 1.7 kilowatt that means uh, our configuration from the solar panel is balanced now let's check this guy to see if we are getting the same thing from you know the solar panels you can see it the same 1.7 kilowatt now if you uh, add if you add this 1.7 by 4 uh, each one is giving you about 3000 plus 3000 plus that's about 6400 or about 6800 uh, watt power coming from our 19 kilowatt power solar panels and presently they are not doing anything they are not draining from the battery because the solar panel is sustaining the load in the afternoon even uh, with the poor weather condition the solar panels will still support the load and that's the idea of oversizing now come closer if you look at the screen you can see our battery is charging not discharging you can see 59 percent chg is charging it's not idle and the amount of current entering is just uh is just uh, four amps but it will increase the reason why our battery is receiving just four amps because most of the amount of power coming from the solar panel is not channeled directly to the load that they are using so that is the idea of hybrid inverter or using smart inverters when there is enough power coming from the solar panels most of it will be channeled like 90 percent of that power from the solar panels will be channeled to uh your load and 10 percent will be going to your battery bank and when you know sun comes up very well uh, uh the amount of energy from the solar panels will increase and 50 percent might be going to your battery or maybe 90 percent might be going to your battery and the 10 percent might be going to your load depending on how much energy your solar panels are generating so like i told you guys uh, this installation is for a hotel 24 kilowatt inverter from SeaWorld and 60 kilowatt hour battery from LV Thompson. This battery is working as one. These are DC bus bar. We have our protective devices and we have our fire extinguisher in case of fire outbreak. 
these guys can just quench it and uh, the reason why there is no fan or ac here you can see the place is an open place there is enough air coming in which will keep our system in a good temperature so the only things that will not be working on this inverter is just the acs but not all the acs we have about three acs that will be working on this inverter which is the mini hall and uh water heater aside that most of the stuff in this uh hotel will be working from this very inverter. I've taken you guys around in our previous video to show you the hotels. I would have taken you guys around again, but the video might, might be too bulky. So let me still break it down for you. 19 kilowatt power from the solar panel, 24 kilowatt hybrid inverter, and 60 kilowatt hour lithium battery from LV Topsin. Don't forget to give us a call if you need something like this.